I'm Jim Dunham with the Booth Western Art Museum. I am the director of special projects and the historian for the museum. And the most recent uh, addition to the museum is a wonderful totem pole that came originally from British Columbia. It's made by the Nishka Native American people. And these people are people who have been doing totem poles since before the white man ever came. In fact, the very earliest explorers, people like uh, uh, Cook and so forth that came to the northwest coast to trade with the Native Americans found that they had made these beautiful totem poles out of the uh, red cedars that grow in that area. And these poles were used in several different ways. They were never meant to be uh, religious icons. They were never meant to be worshipped and of course they never were. But they were used as family poles to tell the history of a family. They were used sometimes as door entrance poles to, to the entrance of houses. Sometimes they were the supports for the houses as well. And uh, sometimes they were just to give information to visitors as to what was going on, just background of the tribe. This particular totem pole is a family pole, and uh, it was done around 1977, uh, and it was done by the Gosnell family. Eli Gosnell uh, had invited a family to become members of his uh, tribal group, to be adopted into the Nishka uh, tribe. And, and they had commissioned this poll to be made uh, telling the history of the family and the clans. The Native American people of the Northwest Coast believe that they originally came from various uh, supernatural animals and uh, in that they are related to those uh, supernatural animals in a very, very significant historical way. And so each member is in some way or another related to either an eagle or a bear or a beaver or whatever from ancient times. And so they belong to certain clans that are represented by these animals. And in these animals are also portrayed in the totem pole to tell exactly uh, who is related to what. This was important because uh, you were not allowed, for example, to marry someone of the same clan. So if you were a member of the beaver clan, you had to marry somebody from the eagle clan or the wolf clan or one of the other clans. What happened was that this Anglo family, the Hobacks, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hoback, uh, had become members of the tribe. They'd been adopted in the tribe. And to celebrate that, they had commissioned the carving of this pole. Now, this is a very expensive thing to do and takes maybe a year or more to carve. And they owned a business in British Columbia. And before the pole could be set up, the business was burned to the ground and they lost everything. And that meant that they didn't have the money to have the proper potlatch, the potlatch which is, was a special giveaway ceremony in which prizes and gifts are given away to people who attend. Uh, and This is required for the pole to be set into place. If you can't give a potlatch, you can't set a, a totem pole up and put it in place. And so what happened was the pole remained uh, lying down in the uh, building in which it was carved and was eventually uh, sold uh, to Tom Cousins here in uh, Georgia, and he had it at his uh, uh, main headquarters for his real estate business, and just recently he has given it or donated it uh, to be displayed at the Booth Western Art Museum. And so this is a major event. We're talking uh, one of the most beautiful and interesting carvings that ever came out of Northwest Coast individual tribes. And this is a very, very important historical uh, pole as well as a beautiful work of art. The top of the pole is a uh, eagle, which represents the clan uh, family of uh, Mrs. Eli uh, Gosnell. And, uh, and then the, the bottom of the pole has the beaver, uh, which represents the carver, uh, which is uh, Eli Gosnell first, and then his son Joe. Eli passed away during the building of the pole, and then his, it was finished by his sons uh, Joe and George, and they uh, are members of the beaver clan, so they have that. And then their father uh, was a member of the Wolf Clan, and that's on there. And then there are subdivisions that also play a part in the history. One of them is the killer whale, and one of them is, is a story or a legend about a young person holding a salmon. And this is a story about 
uh, salmon that were went up the uh, up the stream to spawn, and some children uh, took some sticks and set fire to them and stuck them in the salmon to to have a lighted way up the uh, the river. And uh, the gods were angry and caused a, a volcano to go off. And so this legend has been passed down through the family, and that exists in the pole. And then uh, uh, the other uh, images in the in the pole, which represent the wolf and the beaver. And, uh, and it really, it, it, it doesn't make any difference where the image is. You know, we always hear the story, uh, the top man on the totem pole or the bottom man on the totem pole. And uh, what we've learned is that it really has to do with uh, where the various members of the family have their clans. And it isn't that one is, is more important than the other. In this case, for example, the top of the pole is the wife's clan, the bottom of the pole is the husband's clan, but, it's, but even though they are a matriarchal society, it isn't like one is more important than the other. It's just basically a history of the tribe. One Day Sign, Cartersville's most experienced sign makers. Open since 1991, One Day Sign has been serving Cartersville and Bartow County for 20 years, helping you with all your sign needs. From helping you with small and large real estate signs to helping you advertise your business with graphics for your vehicle and your building front signage, we're here to make sure that your business is known. Customer service is our number one priority here at One Day Sign, and our main goal is to live up to the reputation that we've made for ourselves. So give us a call today at 770-386-7432. Cartersville's most experienced sign makers. Hi, I'm Tom Riddle with Preferred Heating and Air Conditioning. We've been serving Cartersville and Bartow County since 1998. We have a fleet of seven trucks on the road to serve you day and night, 24 hours a day. If you have problems with your home or your business, please give us a call, 770-383-9001. Again, the name says it all. We are preferred. We're a self-serve frozen yogurt shop located at 148 West Main Street in beautiful downtown Cartersville. We offer over 14 different flavors daily. Our yogurt is fat-free or low-fat, and we always have sugar-free options. You're welcome to come in and sample before making your selection. Then hop on over to our toppings bar where you'll find fresh fruit, cheesecake, brownies, and much more. You create your own treat and pay by the ounce. We're open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 10, Friday and Saturday, 11 to 11, and closed on Sunday. Book your next birthday party with us, or let us cater your office party or gathering. We bring the yogurt party to you. Just call us at 770-334-3059 for questions. If you haven't been in to see us yet, what are you waiting for? This large sculpture behind me was done by Vic Payne. It's called the Eagle Catcher. And the Plains Indians, the Sioux and the Cheyenne, the Crow, the Arapaho, the Plains Indians did not raise eagles for feathers the way that the Indians in the Pueblos of the Southwest did, but they would actually go out and catch them. And they had a way of catching eagles, which uh, was, was pretty aggressive behavior and, and, and took a lot of daring. They would actually dig a hole maybe about three feet to four feet deep. And then the eagle catcher, the man would f climb into the hole and his friends would cover the top of the hole with branches and sticks and put uh, dirt and grass and, and earth and try to cover it up and make it look as normal and as natural as the surrounding area. And then they would, would stake a lure, probably a rabbit or something like that, that they would stake on top. And the eagle would, would fly around and see this rabbit and would dive down to catch the rabbit. And the person inside the hole would wait for the eagle, and as soon as the eagle's talons hit the rabbit, he would reach up through holes in the, in the top, grab hold of the, the legs of the eagle, and pull the eagle down into the hole with him, and then step on the back of the eagle, break his back, and then, of course, kill the eagle and take the feathers. The problem, what has happened in this particular sculpture, 
is that the eagle pulled loose before he could be pulled down, and then when he pulls loose, he still is hanging on to the man with his talons, and so he's got one leg loose and one leg captured, and obviously the, the Indian who's trying to catch the eagle is in more trouble right now than the eagle, and it's just turned into a very, very dangerous game, and that's what's being portrayed in the sculpture. Pretty a violent but very exciting sculpture that deals with the tradition of the Northern Plains Indians. Everybody, we're at Weston Commons Shopping Center. This is Ann Warren uh, with Reflections. Good to see you, Ann. Good to see you, Dave. How long have you been here in the uh, Weston Commons Shopping Center? We're, we're almost completing our fourth year. How's it going? It's great. We've got a lot of new things going on. What is new? What is what is new that is going on? Well, the thing we're most excited about is we have a new staff member. Okay. Uh, and many of you may know her. Her name is Amy Cheek. She's a medical esthetician, and she has come in to upgrade a lot of our uh, aesthetic services. We uh, have some very new services, thanks to Amy. She has introduced dermaplaning, uh, which is where you take a actually take a little scalpel and you remove the top layer of skin cells and also the fine vellus hair on the face so it gives you a really fresh face, a good uh, format for your new products to go on your face. Uh, also, we have updated several of our peels and the one we're most excited about is this one. It's called the Perfect Peel. Uh, we start off doing some things here and then you actually have to take a little responsibility and do a couple of things at home over the next two nights and we've had rave reviews. Uh, we ran out of them last week. So many people were sending friends in to get them done. So I think it's going to be a hit and something that people will really enjoy. Uh, we're also carrying a new line of um, medical grade skin care. We're not doing away with any of the ones we have, so don't be frightened if you're on the others. We've still got everything we've had before, but we've added a very um, uh, nice line called Skin SkinCeuticals. A lot of natural products in that skincare line and some things that I think a lot of people will really enjoy. What are your everyday things you do in here, the reflections? Well, we are a medical spa. We're not a day spa, even though we do do a few things that are pampering. Of course, we have massage and we do just do some basic facials, but we really do try to do a little bit more of the medical grade things here. Uh, we do Botox, we do dermal fillers, we do uh, lots of laser treatments, including laser hair removal, laser facial, rejuven laser facial rejuvenation. Uh, we also do laser pigment treatments. So, you know, those kind of things on our medical side. Plus, we have done uh, now some uh, more in-depth peels. So some of the more medical grade peels that we were not offering in the, in the past. Walk in or just show up? Well, it's always well, best. I mean, walk in or make an appointment. I'm sorry. Right. Well, it's always best probably to call and make right. an appointment. My girls stay very booked up, which we're very blessed and, and proud of. Uh, occasionally, if you walk in, we might be able to get you in with somebody. So don't hesitate to come in because our front staff, Jennifer Kirksey, is very knowledgeable about what goes on in here. And she or I, one, can spend a little time talking about the basics of things with you. But to get a really in-depth uh, consultation with either Amy or Holly, it's probably best to go ahead and call and get an appointment. So we give you plenty of time with the right person. Everybody, this is Ann Warren at Reflections. Tell everybody where you're located. We're located on Henderson Drive in the West End Common Shopping Center, uh, right across from Gold's Gym in the back right-hand corner of the shopping center. And how do they reach you? Uh, call us, 770-383-3552. We also have a web page, and uh, you can find us on Facebook. And thank you for joining us on Cartersville Uncut. Thank you, Dave. Hey, welcome to Treasure Chest Outlets. Let us know if we can help you with anything.
shop in at Treasure Chest and come back again. surgical suite and dental facilities. Pet Vet Clinic, join us on Facebook. We offer in-house blood work where you can get results immediately. We also have digital x-rays. Come on down to Pet Vet Clinic. We're located at the corner of Burn Hickory and Mission Road. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We're here Saturdays from 8 to 12. Hope to see you soon. Again, West Shelly and I, right across from Quick Trip on Highway 41. Your source for guaranteed cheapest pricing on uh, flooring, hardwood, laminate, engineered, cabinets, furniture and oak, handmade, unfinished cabinets, heating and air, stretch and dim. Why pay full price, guys? We can see we're running that closed blood cut special on these stoves right here. 249 doors, cheap. I got a full warehouse, guys. Call us 770 334 8339. I'm Derek Bryce from Thomason Automotive. Come by and see us. We take pride in your ride. We're right beside Buffalo's on Felton Road. We sell tires. If you buy tires, set of four tires, free rotate and balance for the life of the tire. We got a 1695 oil chain special. Five quarts of oil in the filter with a free tire rotation. We also do brakes. We do diagnostic checks. We'd love to come by and see us. Come by and ask for Derek Bryce. We take pride in your ride. Everybody, this is First Response of Bonnie and uh, Connie and Larry, the owner, operators, and crew. Good to see y'all. Good, good to see, see you. you. How's business? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. What, what do you What do you expect? What do you like to get out of a home show? Just get your name out there. Or what's the goal? Just get our name out and try to show we're in Bartow County. How long have you been in Bartow County doing this? How long have you been in this business? Uh, Eighteen years. Wow. Yeah. And how's business right now in this tough economy? That's up and down every week. All right, what do I need to do, being a homeowner, what, what do you need to do, or are there any precautions or anything I need to do right now to keep up with uh, anything, or is just... The main thing is, is a lot of people's having water leaks right now. Right. Just uh, go out and make sure you, you're wasting a lot of money if your water's leaking and you don't know it. If your toilets are running, you're wasting a lot of money. So give you a call. Give us a call. We'll come out. Check it out. That's good to know. So, okay, how do they reach you? For first response plumbing. Everybody see the number up there? Connie and Larry, everybody. Good to see you. Good, good to see, see you. you. Preferred Hi, David. Air. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Uh, we're out here at the Home Show at the Clarence Brown. 2012 Home and Garden Show here at Clarence Brown Center. Looks like a great turnout so far. So far. We've had a lot of people come to our booth and uh, win some prizes on our prize wheel here. We're doing, we're giving away a lot of good stuff. All right. How, is this the busy season for y'all coming up on getting ready when the uh, warmer months get here? Looks like? Yeah. This is kind of the start to it, you know. Well, we're out here with our display. We're trying to get everything set up for everybody. Show people what they have available to them this year as far as options. Right. Um, yeah, everybody's getting their income tax back. Now's the perfect time to start getting geared up for that hot season coming. 
what would he need to do? I mean, just just a basic checkup, more or less. Or? Yeah, if you, if you got an existing system and you're not really in the market for a new system, give us a call and uh, we can come out and we can service your existing system, make sure the refrigerant levels are topped off to their optimum performing levels. Um, we can change your filter. We'll clean your coils. Right. And if you call, we actually have a home a home special price for people if they if they see this through Cartersville and Cut. Call the office and mention it gives you a discount. Ooh. Um, Life's good. Yeah, everything's great. <laughs> All right, what's the wheel? What what can I win here? You can win anything you want. Bottle openers, chip clips. All right, spin the wheel. All right, let's see, let's see what you get, David. A bottle opener. <laughs> Man, what a great day today. Here. Show everybody, gonna, show everybody the, uh, mom, what's gonna that? Get, David Paul gets a shirt. Oh, I want the t-shirt. I love t-shirts. Got a t-shirt, everybody, and a bottle, bottle opener. opener. Preferred heating and air conditioning. Oh, Give us a call. What a great day. Thanks, Thank you, Tom. Thanks, David. Hey everybody, welcome to Angelo's. How are we doing tonight? Good. Super Bowl. Hey. Are you doing the special tonight? Yeah, we got, we're going to do the special. We're going to eat some wings and pizza. And what, do you have like a good most, time. what do you like most about Angelo's? Uh, the great service, food, the service. hospitality. Good looking guy that cooks the food. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen him yet, but. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, hope you enjoy. Wow. Always a uh, deal at Angelo's. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Thanks for having us. Hey, welcome to Angelo's. How are you doing tonight? Hey. What are you doing? What are you having tonight? Pizza. Pizza? How, how's the pizza? Is it good? It's the best. Yeah? All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> what do you like most about the pizza? You no, know, we like our waiter. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all appreciated. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. All right. I'm Dale Yarbrough. This is my wife, Kathy. We own the Guardian Total Pest and Termite Control and Lawn Care. We've been serving Cartersville, Bartow, and surrounding counties for over 20 years. We provide exceptional service with guaranteed results. Give us a call, 770-386-9985, or visit us on the internet, guardianpestandlawn.com. Hi, I'm Larry Jennings with First Response Plumbing. We fix water lines, sewer lines, camera, jet, repair faucets, whatever you might need for his plumbing, give us a call. The name is First Response Plumbing, 770-386-5222. Thanks again, First Response Plumbing. First Response Plumbing. Well, this is Amanda at Southeastern Auto Works. We just wanted to remind you to stop by and see us. Here at Southeastern Auto Works, we handle classics, customs, and collisions. We can do paint, body work, mechanical, and we can save deductibles on most insurance claims. You can go to our website at www.southeasternautoworks.com or you can call us at 770-606-0665. Your country is France. Okay. And what what do you got to tell me about France? Um, uh, the Eiffel Tower is in Paris, which Paris is the capital of France, and the Eiffel Tower is the most um, visited monument in the world. Is it really? Yes. I did not know that. And the president is um, Nicholas Sanzowski. Okay. And um, they have a. Uh, a bike race and it's called the Tour of de France and it's the um, most um, famous bicycle race in the world. Wow. Okay. And what's your food? Um, it's French crepes. Hold on. With, let me, let me. And, it, and it's like a pancake but it's thin and it has and you can put any topping on it. Let me go take a picture of it. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You have one of the best looking foods here. That is one of Thank the most. You. That's one of the best ones here. Thank you. I'm with Sheila Langford right now. We're at Excel Christian Academy. Sheila, uh, 
what is this? What's going on? This is the fifth grade festival of nations. The fifth graders here at Excel Christian Academy are putting together a display. They've researched the country. They've written the embassy to find out information about each country. And the students, each student is dressed in the traditional dress of their country and they've prepared the traditional food of each country. And there, it's like an on-site field trip for the kindergarten through fourth grade students to come through. And each kindergarten through fourth grade student has a passport. They're becoming world travelers today and they're going to each country and they'll get their passport stamped, they'll be greeted in the language of that country, and um, they will taste the food of that country from each fifth grade student. And the fifth graders have also put together a John 316 quilt where they wrote John 316 in each country's language. So the child from Japan wrote John 316 in Japanese and it's quite a beautiful element that we have this year. This is so cool. Who is this, do y'all do this every year? Is this a first or? This, um, this is something that's done every year, yes, okay. and um, this is my first year teaching fifth grade, so okay. yes, it, it's just a lot of fun. The so, kids have loved it. We had a lot of parent help, everything. So if I walk around, they will educate me a little bit to each? They will. They will greet you in that country's language, and they will offer you food and tell you about that country. Thank you very much, Sheila. Thank you. Um, do you want some fried rice? It sounds good to me. Your country is Japan. Do you have any interesting story, anything to tell about Japan? Well, first of all, it's a great honor being here and working and making this food and setting up my backboard for these um, kids in high school and middle school to come look at it. Mm -hmm. And first of all, we have here this sign right here on the flag. It, it represents the land of the rising sun, which okay. is, that's what they call and this right here is a typical house in Japan. Okay. And this is Mount Fuji, one of the um, biggest mountains in Japan. And it's also a volcano, but it hasn't erupted in like thousands of years. Here is the modern yen for the times. And right here is what they call it. Here is ancient, but I don't think they use it anymore. Okay. Here are these special chopsticks. Right here. Neat. And I have some more right here. Right here is a chopstick lid, so when they put them down, they don't get the chopsticks messed up and dirty. So they keep these here. I have this agriculture book. It shows about the buildings, gardens. Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm. Wow. I have some flashcards that show. And you're prepared. You got it all. Like this is. Kiro is yellow. Yeah. So that Go is five. Wow. Mimi is ear. Hannah is nose. And here's a. A typical family snack, yeah. which I have no idea what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> um, Looks good. Hey, oh, cool. They were those, huh? Mm -hmm. we, thank you, Barry. This is what a girl wears. Yeah. You know, but this is what a boy would wear. It's a neat outfit. I like that. This is okay. a Japanese toy. Oh, okay. What do you do? How do you do it? You have to try to get it on. All right. Got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. 